Hello my dear friends and welcome to a new video from Mad Max Deals and Reviews. Today I try to show you uh, how some flashlights perform underground in a tunnel. For that case I brought some of them, I will show you, show them to you in a second uh, in an old World War II airstrike shelter digged in the hill near my home and thanks to Corona and What's the better place than being in a shelter? And for you, keep the social distancing, stay away from other people, stay safe and do not endanger other people. So that being said, let's have a look on my setup and the flashlights I brought with me. Okay, these are the lights I have with me. I showed you yesterday Ace Beams. X10, also Ace Beams H60, then of course for reference the beloved GT Mini. I have an C8 Plus which I modded with a white flat on a copper and I used the BLF A6 driver. Then I have from Brenight the T28 three-color flashlight with a Fresnel lens and a zoom. Then I got the Convoy M20, M21C, sorry for that, that's an SST40. Then I also got from Convoy the S11s, 26650 flashlights, one with the SST40 and the other one XHP50. So I think it's nice to see the difference between those. And there's some other lights from Lumintop. The FW1A, FW1A Pro, FW3A, the regular one, the new HL3A, the new HL4A with quarter meter and the FW21 Pro with triple XHP50. So this is where the camera stands and the camera looking down the tunnel and using a EDC18 which is not the best thrower but it will do for the moment the camera looking down there in the tunnel. So please ignore there is one crossing to the left side but there is many on the right and I hope you can count the crossings and down there there are some marks. Let's look, let's look where they are. I'm out of breath because I did it once and I miscounted because cal uh, counting in English and German at the same time English and the video German in the head doesn't work nicely. So let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the first corner. Try to make big steps. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, two, three. 4, 34 to the next edge, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 49 meters to this white plastic bag, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 71, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 85 meters to the next corner and there is a wooden plank and some nice thing. What? 85. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one hundred, one, two, three, four, five, one hundred five meters to the next tunnel, and you see there's a lot of them and crossings on the left and the right side. 105 and you see here starts the water and the mountain is collapsing 105 6 7 8 9, 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 20 1 2 3 4 5 125 meters to the last crossing here and the second big part is going down there but that's for another day and this is 10 more meters to the collapsed part so 125 to the last crossing 135 we will see the bright soil there so let's go back okay here is the camera I use at the moment the EDC 18 from Lumintop. Uh, the camera is set to 1600 ISO, f is 3.5, 20 frames per second, and the shutter speed is 20. And um, I have everything set to manual. Go, giving it a turbo, so that's 2000 something lumens. You remember, do not take care on the on the left crossing. I will use this picture to have some uh, dis distance marks and this said let's go and play with the flashlights the first is the ace beam x10 let's yeah let's go to turbo that's full tilt that's five and a half thousand lumens Bam. So, but what we can demonstrate here very nicely and is let's go to one, two, three, the highest two, three, that's high, and let's switch between the modes. This is flat only, this is spot only, this is combined. So, you get two flashlights in one. Flat, spot, pose, flat, spot, pose, flat, spot, pose. That's cool. Oh, that's flat. That's pose. Again, in turbo. I really like it. So that's a cool way to make this light happen. Flat only in turbo, spot only in turbo, and Back to the regular mode. That's that's quite cool. Then we look at the H60. H60 in one, two, three, four. That's the flat mode. I think huh, I need to go a little bit further to demonstrate this to you. Do you see where? Oh, let's go here. Do you see where this is 30 centimeters, that's nearly 180 degrees, 180 degrees of light. If I have it on my stomach, it's 10 centimeters in front of my, of my toes. So that's a wall of light around you. That's the flood. That's the spot only in the highest level, of course. That's those. Whoopsie. Flat. Spot. Hey, sorry, those. Going back to where we stand with the other flashlights and again both flat only, spot only, and pose. Also quite nice principle. Then our reference Lumitop GT Mini in turbo you see easy all the way down to the end of the tunnel 
when most of the light is at the end and there is due to its nice small or mid-size reflector there is enough even light distribution so you can see the whole tunnel and the whole length. Looks like a little bit more pointy on the camera than to the bare eye. The next one, a C8 Plus Convoy, which I modded with a white flat and a BLF A6 driver, 5 amps to the LED given 750 lumens and I measure 215,000 kilo candela, 215 kilo candela, sorry. So nearly one kilometer, so that's quite nice for a small. But you can see all the light is going down there. There is less here in the walls of the tunnel. Then we have the convoy M21C using a SST40 LED, bigger LED, more light, less throw and more even beam. M21C from Convoy. Then to play with, it's very nice. This is the Brinite T21A. Sorry, T21 Artemis, not A. Which is a flood. And you can see, flood is light down the road and no, nowhere else or in front of your feet, but not down the tunnel. So that's the downside for many people of a uh, zoom flashlight. Very nice to demonstrate here. So you can have either throw something in the middle. So that, that's not throw and not flood or flood. And the nice thing of this brunette is you can easily switch to green white, red. This is cool. There is a slider in the flashlight and I will have, of course, a more nicer review of that. Then, again from Convoy, the S11s, which are 26650s, and let's have a look, let's start SST40 LED and the exact same flashlight with a Cree XHP50 LED. Do you see the difference? SST40, Cree XHP50.2 and both. Next comparison from uh, Lumintop, my all time favorite to be honest, FW1A with the Cree XPL LHI. Really nice amount of light, good throw, one inch size, so that's great. And the beefed up brother with the XHP50, much more light, but much less throw. Cree X, XPL and XHP50. You can see, clearly see the difference now. That's is both XPL. Switch off. Then I brought with me the regular well known FW3A in turbo. And I brought the HL3A, the new headlamp. It's the same, so because it's the same optics, the same LEDs, the same driver. So there's just a tint difference, unfortunately, in my samples. But why would there be any difference? And it's of course the same to the EDC18 because it's the same flashlights. But what's not the same is the new FW4A with four LEDs, four Cree XP, uh, XP, 
four LEDs, four Cree XPL. Much more light than the triple, triple in turbo, quad in turbo, triple in turbo, quad in turbo. Very nice. And still it's a very good pocket size if you ask me. And another triple, the FW1, uh, FW21 Pro, three, uh, three pieces of XPG 50.2. Let's compare the F, uh, FW3A, a triple with X, uh, XPL LEDs, and now the triple with the XPG LEDs. I'm quite sure you see the difference. FW3A, FW21 Pro in turbo. So when you start from zero with double click, that's 1300 lumens in the regulated mode. And this is 8,500 something and more. Ridiculous amount of light. So, that being said, I hope you liked the show. I hope you want to give the video a like, click the button. Maybe you click the subscribe button too and hopefully you have the time watch down in the video descriptions. There are some links for you to save money to support my channel. Stay safe. Let's have fun with our flashlights and see you next time. Bye-bye.